a big part of the post-traumatic stress is the shame that survivors and victims can carry with them because they feel like, what was I doing? I was just lying there or sitting there. Like, why didn't I fight back? Why didn't I do more? First, you know, I want to take a moment just to talk to the survivors real quick. Like, first of all, give yourself the grace and understanding to realize that you were a child and you did not know better. That adult took advantage of you and that was pure evil, okay? I don't know how everyone feels about it. This is my personal viewpoint and opinion, but there are some unforgivable sins, okay? People will tell you things like forgive and forget. Now, I like to focus on healing because healing is possible, right? Healing is a choice. You decide when you're ready to heal and to what extent you can heal, right? This is, this is a very short version of a very long discussion, but the short version is when survivors carry that shame of I could have done more, it's a big part of not allowing yourself to release that trauma and move on. So I don't necessarily, not really able to forget, unfortunately. And, you know, the word forgive is still a a little taboo to me. However, I can release. Release means that's not my shame. That's not my burden. That's not, I don't carry that with me. That's not my identity. I'm not even like associated. That, that's, that's not something I carry with me. That's definitely not something that I'm going to allow to control my life today. It is something I choose to use my experiences to empower others. And again, that's why we're here today.